So if you are looking to get gifts for someone who you know just moved into a new home or is about to move into a new home, continue to watch this video. You will see some beautiful, affordable gifts to get for anybody's housewarming. And if you got your own crib and you wanna spice it up, add a little aesthetic, you know, romanticize your life via Amazon, keep watching. I hope you know what it's taking. You know this cookie's for the bag. Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest. Cause you done beat her like a 68 Jess. What's up, everybody? It is the one and the only, the first and the finest, Miss Wright. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I promise you're gonna wanna see more of me. Just stick around, wait and see. And for those who are reoccurring, thank you so much for your love and support. Very happy to see you back here again. Mwah! So, it is officially August, my absolute favorite month, because anyone who knows me and follows me knows my birthday is August 24th so love this month love the Sun and everything about it but the most important part about August for me right now is that it actually makes five months that I have been living here in Atlanta and living in this home my very first own space that I could call mine I could not be more grateful I could not be more blessed I'm overwhelmed with joy and I think it's finally settling in because July was probably the longest amount of time that I have been in this house and haven't done anything. Like, I have been on the move. I've been traveling outside, okay? New Orleans, uh, Jamaica, uh, Philly, uh, all of that. I've been moving, moving and grooving. But July, I think I have sat down the longest and really took in my home. So I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude, honestly, and it made me realize that I got so many amazing housewarming gifts that I still put to use. So this is my opportunity to show all of you what I got that I still use to this day five months later and I probably will be using for quite some time hereafter. Um, the coolest thing about these gifts is that they are all from Amazon. You can purchase them at the link in the description. I will make sure that I include all of those links, but pretty much when I have my housewarming, house, I didn't have a housewarming party because all my family is in Pennsylvania for the most part, but I had a going away party. And um, when I sent out the invites, I sent out a link for my Amazon registry. Like if you want to send anything directly to Georgia, feel free. Or if you want to give me some money, feel free, whatever the tea is. Um, and while we all absolutely love gift cards, when I got here, I used my gift cards for things that I needed. You know, I needed to stock my home with cleaning supplies and food and stuff like that. Toilet paper, like that's not really fun. But the Amazon registry, that is what got me things that were fun. Things I really didn't need. But like, I needed it. <laughs> so if you are looking to get gifts for someone who you know just moved into a new home or is about to move into a new home, continue to watch this video. You will see some beautiful, affordable gifts to get for anybody's housewarming. And if you got your own crib and you wanna spice it up, add a little aesthetic, you know, romanticize your life via Amazon, so the first thing that I got, it actually was the first housewarming gift that I got um, sent here. This is from my godmom. Shout out to you, Aunt Pammy, if you're watching this. Love you. Um, this is one of my favorite gifts. This is um, a huge part of me because everyone who knows me personally knows that I am a wine connoisseur. And I don't have any aesthetic glasses. So this is... <laughs> One of my favorite wine glasses. I got this um, as a part of my housewarming gift from my godmother and she sent me these. They were on my registry. Uh, this came in a pack of two. Very cute, classy, gotta love it. Um, I will say that they are kind of like thin. So be careful where you store them. I personally keep them in my bar area. I have a bar cart with um, a little counter on top that has all of my prettiest glasses on there. Um, yeah, so I keep these glasses over there by the bar area, so there are no ways that I can break them. Um, I've already broken my first glass, 
the five months, only one glass, like, come on. That's, I think that's pretty good. Uh, but yes, these glasses definitely make any space a little bit be more pretty. And because they are so aesthetic, you can leave them out. You don't have to put them up with the rest of your glasses. But I don't, I to be honest, I don't even drink out of them that much. I just think they're so pretty and I'm afraid of breaking them. But when I am feeling myself, I'm a little cute and I just want, I just want vibes. I'm gonna drink out of it. I'm probably gonna drink out of it today, honestly, because like, Get into it. I really don't have any other glasses that have the asymmetrical or like, you know, um, I have a lot of fishbowl glasses and I honestly am just now learning that you have different glasses for different color wines. Like who do that? Um, <laughs> so I'm trying to get into that. I am going to a wine tasting very soon. So hopefully I'll learn then. Okay, so that was my first gift. It was literally sitting here in the leasing office when I arrived in Georgia. Absolutely loved it and it was very affordable. Like I said, I only got a pack of two. I knew I was living here by myself at the time, but like I said, they weren't that expensive. So if you want four, six, you know, go ahead. And the next gift that I got, this was from one of my line sisters. It was either Tati or Dana. I'm not sure, they both sent me um, gifts from Amazon. Love y'all both. So I'm just gonna say this is from the both of y'all. Um, this is also another accessory for my bar area. Um, it is a drink shaker, but it is gold. Very classy. And um, I knew that I was gonna have my shaker out for pouring. I knew I was gonna have my shaker out when I told myself, uh, when I first did the tour here and saw that there was a random nook my mom suggested that I use it as a bar area and I was sold on the idea. Once we got a bar cart, immediately I knew I needed to have a shaker. Um, but when I moved here, I actually started to make drinks with it. It is a great tool if you are a hoster, if you're one of the hostess with the most types of people. Um, you're gonna love stuff like this because I was making drinks for my friends. And um, when I was just feeling a little salty, I was making drinks for myself. And I actually have multiple shakers over by my bar area, but this is one of my favorite because it came with this pourer, which I do use pretty often as well. You know, I'm trying to monitor how much I am drinking instead of, you know, just doing it how we used to do the jungle juice back in the day. Pour, 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 pour. Splash of fruit punch. Like, no, we're <laughs> trying to do a little bit more and actually have cocktails and margaritas and stuff like that. So I use this when I am trying to be mindful of how much liquor I'm using and trying to actually make it make a stretch because you know we in a recession. So be out here just pulling it up. Okay, it ain't free. It ain't free. Those are two of my favorite drink accessories, bar cart accessories, and they're both very affordable. So absolutely love them and they're aesthetic enough that you can leave out. The third thing on my list of housewarming gifts that I consistently put to use would be my bathtub tray. Love this! So I brought this over here for y'all. It is wooden. I will show y'all a clip of it in the actual bathtub. But I absolutely love this because it has different compartments. This is like a piece, a soap dish, which I, I never use, but that's that. It's another side piece. Um, Reason that I love this one, well, it has the, what's the name, thing. For your iPad, for your book, whatever, this tray is a vibe. It also, it also has extendo sides. You see that? So if you're wondering, like, OMG, I've always wanted those bath trays for when I take my baths, but do I have to measure my bathtub? For a tray like this, you do not, which I absolutely love. It also has a cup holder, not a cup holder, but like a, this thing, for where you put your glass. It's just set up perfectly for aesthetic bathtub vibes. Like you don't have to put a glass there, you can put a candle there, have your book or your iPad up with your show on it on the side, one of these side trays. You can have your phone in there. You can have your 
exfoliator scrub in there. You can have your soap, like whatever you want. I love it, love it, love it so much. And I use it very, very often. This was from my girl, Nyla. Shout out to you, babes. Thank you so much. I um, mean, yeah, I put this on to use. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it in probably many a reel, many a story. Because <laughs> she gets put to use. So yeah, that bathtub tray is guaranteed to take your relaxation to another level and pretty much romanticize your life. If you watch my last YouTube video on um, amplifying that feminine energy, definitely a purchase that will help you do that. I'm, I'm over here talking about the feminine energy, but this is a unisex gift. Like, if you're a man, especially a man that is very active, likes to work out, you need to soak. And it's not always fun to just sit there and look at your knees when you're in the bathtub. Look at something else. Have a tray there. Maybe have a snack. Have a bowl of grapes. Relax. Soak. Maybe you're taking an ice bath. Who knows? So I absolutely love that gift and I use it very often and I highly, highly, highly recommend. The next gift that I use very, very, very much that I love very, very dearly are my bedside lamps. So these are perfect for my home because I don't have a light fixture in my room. So the lamps are crucial, but they light up the entire room, which I love. I don't know, that could be, that could be my light bulb. But the lamp is cute nonetheless. Um, that was also from Nyla. Shout out to you, girl. Um, on my Amazon registry once again. Yeah, so they shipped right here to Georgia. They light up the entire room. And another thing that I like about them a lot is that they have outlets on the side. There's a switch on the cord in order to activate it. And then to turn it on and off, you have this little string to pull. Absolutely love it. It lights up the entire room. And I ended up getting another one to match the one that she got me because it goes perfectly with my um, his and her bedside end tables. So my man has one, I have one. We plug up our chargers in there. And I also would recommend it even if you're not getting your own home, but perhaps a dorm room. That would also work for a perfect desk lamp because of the outlets that are in it and because of how much coverage you're gonna get light wise. Like I said, that could be my light bulb, I'm not sure. But I <laughs> definitely love that gift and I use it clearly every day. I don't have no other lights in there besides my um, the, light, the lamp near my vanity. I highly, highly recommend. And it's also like the perfect color. There were probably some other color options, but that neutral tone, it's really gonna match nearly anything else that you have. And for me, it matches my uh, silver mirror tray that looks gorgeous on my end table so absolutely love that highly highly recommend and I have one more gift for y'all that I do highly suggest if you know if you get into what I'm about to get into um, but let me go get it okay so the last gift on my list of housewarming gifts that I use and love still currently to this day from Amazon is this baby right here. You're probably like, what the heck is that? So, this is a hookah. Uh, like get into it, okay? So, this hookah specifically was and wasn't a housewarming gift. So I did get a hookah as a housewarming gift. It was not from Amazon, it was from my aunt. I don't know where she got it, it could have been from Amazon. Anyway, it was from my aunt. I didn't use it very often and it was so big, I didn't really have a place to put it. So I went to a party and my friend asked me to bring it. I brought it and someone broke it. <gasps> I know, tragedy. So then they were like, what's the brand name? I sent them the brand name and we found this one on Amazon. It's the same brand as the initial hookah that I had. Two hoses. So I'm not about to spark this up and put it together for y'all because that's a little extra. But the brand is called Zebra Smoke. And I recommend this hookah, whether or not you are a hookah smoker or not, if you're a host, a hostess with the mostest like she, this is the hookah that I recommend. Why? Because it comes in this little handy dandy like treasure chest. So it is a two hose hookah. It comes with multiple packs like this of shisha. 
Look at that shisha. The brand is Tanya or Tanya. Tobacco and nicotine free. Okay. In case y'all y'all don't be reading y'all labels on y'all shisha. Um, I'm not a huge hookah smoker, but when I have people over, I like to, you know, give the vibes. And sometimes when I'm bored, I like to, you know, feel cute in the house. So I absolutely love this one. It's a blue one. This is what it looks like. So it's not huge. Like you, like I said, if it can fit into this container, it's clearly not huge, but it is a two hose John. So don't feel like it's not able to do what you need it to do. Um, but yeah, I normally only use it on the weekends or when I have company. So this fits perfectly into my um, entertainment center, hidden in a chest where you really cannot see it. Um, I didn't think it was too aesthetic to have it out. I used to just be sitting on the dining room table or sitting next to the couch, like it was just out. And I just was like, mm, this is not really me. And it came with, you know, pretty much everything you need besides the tray. It did come with a tray, but the tray didn't fit. That could have just been my problem. I said, I'm not really skilled at this. But yeah, it came with tongs, it came with coal, it came with pretty much everything you need besides the virus spark that hope. So, when you are done with it, pick it up, back in your chest, treasure chest, and put it in, and store it, and store it wherever you would like for it to go. We've talked on here before about minimalism and just making sure that your space is free of clutter if you wanted to give all of the vibes. So that's what I'm trying to give. And that's why I absolutely love all of these gifts because they either stay out looking aesthetic and gorgeous or they're easily concealable. Same thing with this bath tray. I have the perfect storing place for that as well. But um, if the color that I chose doesn't make it draw if it is out. So that's essentially what I'm going for. So hopefully all of these gifts are perfect for you, whether you are the receiver or the giver. All of them have been affordable. This hookah I think was cheaper than the ones at the store for sure. It was less than $30. Everything that you have seen today is very affordable, very aesthetic, and will be the perfect housewarming gift either to receive or to give. And like I said, it might even dual as a going back to school gift because you never know. If you have one of those kids that have an apartment up at their school, these might come in handy as well. So hopefully they find you at the right time and all of you guys can enjoy them as much as I enjoy these gifts myself. And that is all that I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, be sure to hit that notification bell so you do not miss the next drop. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.